Hello, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Our topic or discussion is switching transient of diode. Now switching transient of diode means you are switching the diode from the forward bias mode into the reverse bias mode. That is P terminal connected to positive end, N terminal connected to negative end is instantly connected to negative and N connected to positive. And how the diode characteristics behave when you are changing from positive terminal to negative terminal. When you look at the diagram, you can see here the positive positive VF is connected to the positive PN when the switch is connected at this terminal that is we need to do time analysis at a particular time the switch is connected to this part so your circuit will be completed from this point to the ground so when you apply KVL over here the equation for KVL will be you can say you are going from this point so VF then minus IF into RF minus voltage across diode equals to zero so we can write IF equals to VF minus VD upon RF we can say that since in series the current is same that means IF that is the forward bias current and ID are the same now the minority carriers in P what are the minority carriers in P can say electrons and the minority carriers in holes are nothing but the holes so P are the minority carriers now as per the minority carriers you are connecting positive to the P type that means electrons in the P type will be attracted to the positive terminal and holes will be attracted to the negative terminal so what will happen in the PN junction when you look at the PN junction all electrons will be gathered at the end and holes will be gathered at the other end when you are connecting positive and negative in this format to the PN. So these are the minority carriers in PNN. So as per the minority carriers, all electrons will be gathered over here and all holes will be gathered over here. Now in the next case, when you reverse bias the PN junction, that means in the next case, what will be a circuit? Your circuit will look like this part will be connected over here. This will be connected over here. This completes the entire cycle. P is connected to the negative terminal and is connected to the positive terminal. That means we are trying to reverse bias. So the electrons which had gathered in the positive half cycle will remain over here or it will try to move towards the PN junction or depletion region. Since it is negatively connected, these electrons will be repelled back. But the time taken for the electrons to acquire equilibrium, that means electrons will not immediately move because there are large number of electrons concentrated during the forward biased condition so the electrons will take time to move towards the equilibrium near the depletion region so the time taken for the electrons to move towards the depletion region will make the current not to make it instantaneously zero that means whatever you have achieved the current in the positive half cycle it will not immediately drop down to zero because of the reverse bias condition now you can see here this is the current flowing when the diode is forward bias this is the forward bias condition and the minority carriers are gathered at this of the P type and poles of the N type. So these electrons will take time to acquire equilibrium because when you are connecting negative positive. So these electrons will be repelled and these holes will be repelled at a particular instant. Instantly they will be repelled. So they will take time to attain equilibrium. So your current is not becoming zero at this particular instant. So the time taken by the electrons to acquire stability is storage time and it is denoted by Ts. Your current decreases because of the reverse bias. So Tf is the fall time which is 10% of the total time. So the time taken for the electrons to become zero in the reverse bias is the fall time which is 10% of the initial value. So initial value 10% is your fall time. This is the switching transient of the diode.